do that change it to scanner fragment and uh, change the icon and I'm gonna change the color to something else okay and similarly in the search I'm gonna do the same thing change that to search in the scanner as well okay change the icon to search icon and change the name to search all right okay so these are the designs layout we need now let's go to the java file and start programming this to display and handle the click on modern navigation view okay so let's open the main activity here and first thing I want to do is give ID to our bottom navigation view because I have not given any here so give ID bottom view something like that okay so let's go back here and create bottom navigation view variable okay and let's bind the data btm view find view id r dot id bottom view all right i'm gonna handle the click on the uh, item on the navigation view so to handle the click i can just use bottom navigation view and set on navigation item selected listener and new on navigation item selected listener and inside these i can uh, find out which button is clicked by the user and display the message accordingly so i'm going to do that so I'm, i can use switch here or if else condition it's your choice if you want to use switch you can use switch but i prefer uh, if else condition because we have only three items so item dot get item id equals to r dot id dot camera okay so if the camera button is clicked i'm going to display toast message that says camera it is on baby camera is on all right similarly i can all uh, use else, else if condition to check for other items so item dot get item id is equals to r dot id dot camera scanner and similarly i'm gonna use the toast to display some message okay and finally last else if condition that check item dot get item id is equals to the what uh, which one was the last it was search i guess so r dot id dot search yeah so display the toast message that is search is on all right now let's run this application and if see if this on uh, uh, you know uh, selected listener is working or not so i'm gonna run this okay i got this error because i added this extra string here so let me just remove that and run this okay guys the app is running now and uh, if i click on any of this it says the scanner is on and if i click on search it says the search is on and if I click in camera, it says camera is on. Okay. So now um, I want to change this uh, navigation title. Once the camera is clicked, I, I want to display the camera here. If the scanner is clicked, I want to display scanner here. And if I click on search, it's going to display search as a title here. So to do that, I can use, um, you know, get a support action bar to set the title. Let's give some uh, default name. You don't need to give this if you don't want, but I just like to have the different name there. And each time when the our item is clicked, then I want to display the title of that particular fragment. All right. So I can use get support access bar dot say title camera. And similar thing for the scanner as well as for the search. So copy and paste the same thing change the title name to the scanner and the shirts all right so if i run this we will see the difference right now so we have dashboard as a default title here and now if i click on any of this scanner search or camera it's gonna change that 
now our job is to load the fragment according to the button click on this navigation view all right so to do that we need to use fragment manager and fragment transaction so fragment manager manage how the fragments are loaded into the uh, any particular container okay so to do that we need a fragment container first so for that we will use frame layout in main activity so here i'm gonna add one frame layout and it will have the match parent and match parent not actually match parent but wrap content for now okay and i'm gonna give the id as container okay close this and let's go back to the design view and set the constraint for this container like that and i'll also make this match constraint just to have this in full view okay so now here each time when user click on any of this button i want to display i want to load the fragment that we have instead of uh, displaying this passage okay so to do that uh, but before that we'll load the default fragment to our uh, activity there because whenever the user open our application we are displaying the uh, one of the item one of the item is auto selected okay so in our case the camera is auto selected so i will display the camera fragment but if you want to display scanner as the first fragment you can also do that um, you just need to make sure that you, you are loading that particular fragment first so to load the default fragment i'm gonna go here and uh, i'm gonna create the fragment manager first fragment manager i'm just gonna say manager and i'm gonna get support fragment manager now we'll use fragment transaction and fragment transaction and using the manager i can uh, start the fragment transaction because we can only add or replace or remove the fragment once the transaction is begin okay so now using this fragment transaction i can add the add method of fragment transaction take two parameter first is the container or the uh, frame layout and second one is the uh, fragment class that we want to load okay so let me pass the container so r.id.container this is the container where we want to load our fragment and second is actual uh, class of the fragment which we want to load into this uh, particular container all right so first thing i want to load is camera so i'm just going to create the instance of camera class after that i need to commit this because if you don't commit it it's not going to load that uh, fragment to our container all right so this is the default code that is going to load camera fragment to our container so just to show you guys how it work i'm gonna run this application and show you again so let's run this okay our app is running and you can see we have this camera fragment loaded already but uh it is still displaying the dashboard as the you know title so instead of that since we are displaying the uh, camera as our default fragment i'm just gonna change that from dashboard to camera all right so now we need to write this same code in each of this uh, navigation item selected listener here because whenever somebody goes to search let's say he is on the search fragment and come back to the camera fragment and then he'll click on this camera and we need to perform this same thing here or if he wants to go to the scanner we need to load the scanner and so on okay so instead of uh, you know I, what i can do is i can copy this code from here and paste it here after this like that here as well and here as well okay and i need to uh, load the appropriate fragment here so this one is camera that's fine and second one is scanner so scanner and last one is search but the thing is we always need to follow the dry rule if you don't want a dry rule it is don't repeat yourself all right so it is the one of the important rule of programming that you should never repeat yourself so to avoid the repetition you know you can see we have the same block of code here only one thing is changing here other thing is remain same but all these things just increase the size of our application so instead of doing that what we can do is we can use method to write this code and we'll 
load the whatever the fragment that we need to load to the our fragment uh, in our container all right so let me go ahead and create a method called load fragment or get fragment so i'm going to create one method called get fragment and here i'm going to call that first and our get fragment method take the parameter which is fragment all right so first i want to uh, load the default fragment that is camera okay so now what i can do is i can cut this code from here and create this method so just click on this ball create this method inside main activity now here i'm going to paste that code okay and it is uh, giving me this camera but instead of that i'm going to create the fragment because we are uh, loading different fragment here so we need to pass that fragment right like that and now i'll replace this fragment with this uh, instance of camera class here so what this code is going to do is it's going to load the fragment into the container and that fragment is passed through this parameter so we can call this get fragment method multiple times here and it, it is going to load that fragment to the container so here i'm going to call the get fragment and i'm going to pass the new search fragment like that and similarly here as well i'm just going to delete that call the get fragment method and we need to pass the scanner instance similarly here as well here in order we already have the code here so i'm going to copy this from here to here okay so this is how we uh, load the fragment so i'm going to run this and show you guys how it is going to look like in our application because we have added the fragment here it's just going to override the fragment okay it's not going to replace it so instead of adding the so actually fragment is loaded here but we are not able to see it okay so we need to replace that so once we replace that it's going to remove the previous fragment completely from our container and it's going to uh, load the new fragment but if we use add it's going to override the fragment uh, one into another okay so that's just not going to display anything there so i'm gonna run this again and show you guys okay you can see it's loading and uh, let me remove this and show you guys what i was talking about okay um you can see it is working but the thing is that i have given the background color for full uh, whole activity so it is not displaying that uh, overridden thing so what i'm gonna do is just to show you guys what i was talking about i'm just gonna i'm just gonna remove the background color from one of these thing and show you guys okay so let me go to the here and i'm gonna remove this background color for now i'm just gonna comment this okay i just need to remove this uh, you know what instead of removing that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the constant so make it wrap content instead of um okay like that okay and i'm just gonna change the icon color here oh sorry size of icon okay oh now i'm gonna run this and maybe i can show you what i was talking about okay the app is running here now if i click on any of the other thing it's going to load that and now i'm gonna click back to the camera and you can see it is overwritten you can see both fragment here this is what going to happen if you use the add instead of replace here in the main activity so i'm gonna uh, change this to replace again like that and run this again and show you guys yeah search camera everything is working fine now okay so this is what i wanted to implement okay guys so this brings to the end of this uh, simple button navigation tutorial video let me know if you want me to do more advanced tutorial if you want me to handle click on the thing in the fragment if you want me to add uh, you know other extra things here but for now i'm gonna end this video here so don't forget to like and subscribe this video and if you want to see more content similar to this let me know in the comment and uh, i will see you in the next bye bye have a great day